Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are really amazing. And also don't forget to support us on uh um and don't forget to support us on Patreon. Just check out the link on the description below and also we have a link where you can just go support us um there's a bitcoin link in the description below i mean if you want to support us just make sure just go and support us and um i think that's that's going to be a good thing yeah because um i feel like sometimes me myself when i watch something and i'm really touched about it and then i feel like how can i help this kind of person how can i make this person feel good today or something like that so we created a link in the description below the first link it's a bitcoin link uh i don't have a paper link i just have a bitcoin link or something like that just go hit that link over there and then you can support us with any amount that you want us to uh that you want to support us with i mean anything 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 is is just good and for the people who have been uh supporting us on that link you guys are so amazing thank you so much uh, we couldn't thank you more, but um, I mean, it's, it's it's just good. Thank you so much, and God bless you. And yeah, and for the people out there who've been reacting to our videos, who've been um, you know giving us suggestions and whatnot, you guys are super amazing. Thank you, and also may Allah guide you and protect you in your ways in these difficult times. And anyway, so today we're gonna do this reaction over here, and. Uh, this one was suggested by a lot of people. They suggested that we should go react to I Became Muslim, my Shahada. So without any further ado, let's get it. First of all, like as we do in everything, start with Bismillah. So, Bismillah. Bismillah. In the name of God. Ar Rahman. Ar Rahim. Most merciful. Most compassionate. Most compassionate. Amen to. I believe. I believe. Billahi. In God. وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ In the uh, angels وَكُتُبِهِ In the books وَرُسُلِهِ In the messengers وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ In the hereafter وَبِالْخَيْرِ وَبِالْقَدْرِ وَخَيْرِهِ وَشَرِهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى And in the destiny of Allah and in the hereafter Ashhadu. Ashhadu. I testify. I testify. And la ilaha. La ilaha. 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 Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluh. I testify. I testify. That there is only one God. That there is only one God. Worthy of worship. And I testify, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger and his servant. So congratulations for this beautiful decision. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم. So the meaning of this verse is that say that Allah is one and unique. He doesn't need to anything, but everything needs to him, and Lord He 
uh, gives birth or he has a father and there is nothing like him so he is incomparable of anything so after you took this decision so I'd like to remind the concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we discussed before when you were here in the mosque there are like 99 beautiful names of Allah so these are the adjectives of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he doesn't have any physical shape or form but how do we know him? we know him through his qualities so I'd like to also share with you like some of them uh, the most important ones like Ar-Rahman which we also repeat when we read the first chapter of Quran Allah the one who is most merciful so Ar-Rahman in this concept is not only for believers is not only those who follow him but is also for all the universe so doesn't matter whether you are a believer doesn't matter whether you are not a believer Allah shows his mercy so his mercy encompasses all the universe his mercy encompasses humanity encompasses animals encompasses all the creatures so he has such a mercy that includes everything and doesn't leave anything behind so that's his like the foremost quality Ar-Rahman that's why uh, when we read the Quran the first chapter starts with, with this uh, beautiful name of Allah then the name Rahim the most compassionate so in this case Allah is Rahim, Rahman all merciful but specifically merciful for those who believe and for those who follow him so after this moment as like somebody who accepted him and who accepted to follow his way so inshallah you will receive the special special mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in your life and since you keep this faith since you keep this belief with you you will feel this force you will feel this power you will feel his mercy specially on you so that's the, the, the second like one of the second most important names so also in this verse uh, some of the qualities of Allah uh, mentioned like Al-Ahad, the one who is unique so not only he is one but he is unique because there is nothing like him nothing can be com even comparable nothing can, can be even imaginable so that's the beautiful concept that we have in Islam that is not found in any other religion that he doesn't have a father nor he does give birth so what this tell is that after Allah sent the revelation to certain people they started to change and forget the real message and started to say that Allah had a son or there's like this concept of twins so they, they kind of like started to change the message so it is very important to keep the message the original and the unique way and doesn't distort it in any shape or form so that's the key thing in your life inshallah so as we've discussed uh, for now you just feel with joy, with happiness, and started to receive, inshallah, the special mercy uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, have this feeling of your belief, like this, this power, this force in yourself, and start just practicing for now the salah, the pray, which is your like daily communication. Yep. So, if when you have a family member or some like a friend, and if you never communicate, so you forget. So in, in the same way, even after we accepted the, 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 the message, we have to keep this communication. So inshallah, just start learning the daily communication, like daily salah, five daily prayers. And in this process, we'll be ready to help you. So I got your number, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So we'll meet uh, here and then. And our center is always available for that, for the learning process. So we will meet and uh, learn together, inshallah. Uh, we will be all raised with you in this process and never leave you alone, inshallah. Sure, thank you. Again, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> wow, um, it's a good thing. Uh, the guy became a Muslim. That's, that, that, that's really amazing. Uh, if that's where he found peace and uh, delight and everything. I mean, that's a good thing. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's a good thing. I'm happy for him. And um, yeah, so um, becoming a Muslim is something that has has been going around. Like I've seen a lot of videos of people becoming Muslims, you know, and there are a number of people who've actually become Muslims. 
it's like people are coming out of uh, probably other religions and discovering that there is more uh, peaceful, uh, more unity and more uh, engagement when it comes to um, the religious aspect and whatnot, which is really a good thing, you get my point. There's something that probably they see in Muslim that they are not seeing in other religions, which is pretty much amazing. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the, the whole thing in the video is the wearing of the masks. Man, I feel so bad of that situation that is happening around the world, man. Like, you, you, you go into the most churches wearing a mask, for heaven's sake, man. It's, it's just so bad, man. If you think about it, it's bad. It's, it's just so much of a symbolism. You're going into a mosque with your mask on. It's like saying that you, 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 your mouth, or you can't talk to your creator, or you can't talk to your God, or you can't communicate with your God, you know, directly without wearing your mask. I know you can talk with your mask on, but it's not that clear. It's not that. Um, um, the clarity is not there anymore, you get my point, and it's kind of blockage. I mean, that's, that, that's really bad, but what can we do, man? What can we do? We can't do anything. Um, all in all, the video was good, the, good uh, the video was really amazing. I could tell the guy was really struggling when um, mentioning those, you know, the Arabic words. I know it's kind of challenging sometimes because. This is your first time, man, in encountering this kind of, uh, you know, uh, language or something. So you have to struggle and whatnot. I, I, I guess he has to, to go and do a lot of practice uh, to see, uh, so they can be, become better when it comes to pronunciation and even just using the word in prayers and whatnot. Anyway, thank you so much for being part of this video over here if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video over here just let me know in the comment section and that's gonna be a good thing and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel the more don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out